It's been raining out for about a week, so I just thought I'd put it together inside. <laughs> so um, almost done with it, and then I'll move it out outside. But um, I don't know. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you what what, what I did. Um, I got I got this fixed. This this was worn out, and uh, I think it was kind of a a weak point in the tractor. Um, they have these plates here and here, and they're kind of thin, and the original axle pin just wore them out. In fact, this one here was broken, right here, the steel, and then down here, this was just really wobbled out. So I welded in new steel to fix it, and then I got a grade 8 bolt that, you know, I had to file it down a little bit to get it inside of here, but it fits the axle perfectly. And then I just drilled out, I took these, got these big plates, these plates steel, and um, I just cut them out and drilled out a, a hole for a, a bushing. Put a bushing in there and I put the bolt through it. I bolted that up to the, to the frame. Like that, I put some rubber gasket between it to keep it from vibrating and rusting. But uh, yeah, anyway, that's, that is how we fix that. And, uh, like I said, I put bushings in, top and bottom, and this is grade 8, so that'll work really good for an axle pin. So and then uh, I got the clutch, got the clutch build, that was, that was a challenge. It's under a lot of pressure. There's a, we replaced the bearing here, this is a new um, collar and drive shaft um, bearing up in here. It's in between that, and then you got the plates, clutch, and then that's where the clutch belt goes for the motor and then down here we got this is called the yoke that's where your um, your push plate bearing is it's a flat bearing and it's inside of this thing so so I got a new bearing in there and then this is a spring this has got a lot of pressure on it uh, what we did is I put it on a <clears throat> my hydraulic jack for my like my car and then I put a pipe on the top of it and I compressed the spring until I could get the, the pins. There's a pin in here and then there's a pin. There's another pin inside here. You can't see it, but you, this floats in there. So there's a pin inside there with a the gear. So anyway, I pinned it together with pressure on it with a jack. And uh, it, was, it wasn't easy. <laughs> so anyway, and here's the uh, bottom of it. I got stainless steel hardware put that on. Uh, this is the original disc. Just kind of cleaned it up. It looks like looks pretty good. And then here's the gearbox down here for the high-low. And uh, this is, I cleaned it out and it's got new oil in it. Uh, 140 weight is what, what I used. Um, and uh, that's it. And then down here we got the linkage hooked up for the brake. And um, now up here is, you know, where the brake, what, basically what it does when you push the clutch in, it pushes the brake on and it also releases the clutch at the same time. So it, it stops you, this, it disconnects the clutch and then puts the brake on. And when you let the brake off, it puts the clutch back on. So I don't know, it's pretty, pretty neat how they designed it. And I tell you, I didn't have to replace the brake band it was like still really good shape and the uh, same with the clutch plates they're right here the clutch uh, clutch itself there's two clutches on the top and bottom and they were both in excellent shape I didn't have to replace them either you can see how much clutch is left there's a lot of clutch left I tell you I think when Cup Cadet built these they uh, they just overbuilt them I think they had to redesign them because they didn't break down and people didn't need parts for them so I mean you didn't need to replace a clutch ever and you never had to replace a brake pad and I mean, there's very little service. Um, you know, after 50 years, it just needed just needed to be rebuilt, and you know, bearings needed to be replaced. And um, I don't know, pretty uh, pretty well made. They don't build things like this anymore, I tell you. So anyway, yeah, I just got a couple more parts over there. Um, I got to put the seat on and uh, the steering linkage, and uh, that's it. And I can throw the tires on it. No, I move it outside. But uh, yeah, that's it. I just thought I'd show you an update. It's coming together. Oh yeah, 
just wanted to show you this too. Um, <clears throat> the the high low didn't come with a handle, and I had to make one. And this is what I came up with. Um, I just took a, a round piece of steel, you know, uh, rod, and uh, I heated it up and I flattened it down so that it's you know real thin and it fits into the high low. And then I I got this knob from Tractor Supply, and I threaded the end of the rod. I just you know filed it down round and then I, I threaded it to fit this this knob and um, I don't know I think it came out pretty good it's real comfortable too I like it better than the one that is supposed to be on it this is just nice and big and comfortable and throw it in, in high and some low that's it but yeah I'll show you the inside too I don't know if you can see it that's uh, right down there that's that's the uh, that's where it connects to the high-low. See how I had to flatten it down. Okay.